Now, little did I know though, this Death Claw was actually quite special. Death Claw Jesus. Hello everyone, Army of Otters here, and today we're exploring Lucky Jim Mine. This was recommended to me by Reese, Reese Reinhardt8419. I hope I said that right. But as you can see in the last video, I went to Deathclaw Promontory, and then Reese Reinhardt recommended that I come to Lucky Jim Mine to find the Deathclaw. Deathclaw Jesus. So, Lucky Jim Mine is a pretty isolated location. It's way out in the middle of the Mojave. It's actually kind of by um, Deathclaw Promontory, where we were last time. But there's not a whole lot around it. There's like an NCR camp. Upon finding the mine, you'll find a lot of fire geckos. You saw me killing them early. From the little house up here, it's pretty easy to kill them, because this house is a little bit difficult to get to. Over here, we have like what is a wheelbarrow or mining cart. And there was also a skeleton, as you saw, underneath the roof there. And if you come inside, there isn't a whole lot, but there is a book in here, lying, congressional style. So you want to make sure you pick that up if you come here. But I picked that up earlier in this playthrough, so I'd actually already discovered this place. But there's not a whole lot here, but you can tell it's been used by miners. You have bunk beds, a refrigerator, and some tables. Then below the house, you can find the actual mine, Lucky Jim Mine, and an abandoned like mining cart. But you can't go inside. So if Deathclaw Jesus was resurrected here, he, he probably is trapped inside or he already escaped. One or the other. And as with so many places in Fall New Vegas, Lucky Jim Mine is actually a real location in real life in Nevada. But it's also abandoned and not much in real life either. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you tune in next time. If you have any recommendations for the next place to visit, please leave it in the comment section below.